Hey everyone, it's Nerf the Ninja here, and welcome to episode 5 of my uh, Let's Play. So, I, as you can see, I dug out a lot of sand. I'll show you all the sand I got when we get back to my little house thing. But, this is, we have to get through all these steps to build this giant pyramid we want. So this is where it's going to end, so I have to fill all the sand in. I want to make it look natural, so I'll try to make this beach bigger. I'm going to have to really scale back this mountain and that mountain, I think, because... Oh yeah, whenever we get close to this, you can't hear it now, but uh, when I was getting all the sand from, like, down there, I could hear zombies when I, like, stood there. So maybe there's, like, a zombie spawner in here. That'd be cool. See, that's where the pyramid has to end. So we're going to have to make sure this is at the same level as that. Which is good, and then we're gonna have to scale all this back. So maybe this whole mountain will have to go. That will take a long time. That'll probably help us uh, get enough sandstone for our build. All right, it's getting late already. So I did. We didn't get to enchant last time. I did promise that we'd get to that. Um, I don't have the. Oops, I don't have the bookshelves yet, but I have a nice and large cow farm now and sugarcane farm that I've been. Um, I kept on breeding the cows for a while, and I kept on um, making the sugarcane farm bigger. And I don't have any leather or paper yet for the bookshelves, but we are about to get it. Okay. So, here we have the cows. How can some get out? He got out before. No, he got out before. I don't know where they're going yet. So, that started with the two cows, and now it's a lot of cows. I wonder how they get out. Do they, like, jump on each other's backs or something? Okay. Um, I think we need to have 45 pieces of leather to, um, to make the 15 bookshelves. So, here I go. Going in. Probably should be using a stone sword, but whatever. I don't want to kill the babies. Alright. Die. We have three from like three cows so far. I want to stop when I get to 45. I don't want to kill extra cows. Okay. Are we finally going to be able to enchant? I think we have enough cows. If we don't, that would be really annoying. Because then I would have to do more breeding. I'm still going to keep this big cow farm, but... Also, you can see I made it bigger. It's not like a big square because I filled in the creeper holes. Now that I have a bunch of sand I could use due to my uh, mining out all that sand for our pyramid. Which we are not even close to finishing. Um, 19. Uh, we're going to make it. Yeah, we're going to make it. But it's our cow farm is going to be full of babies. All these babies' uh, parents are slowly dying. How much are we at? 26. More than halfway there. Alright. Hope we have enough uh, sugar cane for the paper. Not sure if we do. Eat up here. Did he want some baked potatoes? Oh, both swords are going to break. Oops. How much are we at? Oh, we're almost there. This could be it. Yep. Okay, yeah, wow. The farm is not as populated. Well, it, it, it'll come back to life. It will soon grow. So we have been, and we're gonna, I don't need to, eat. actually, it's a better source of food than all these potatoes I'm cooking. I won't cook all of it. Let's get eight of this. Oh yeah, I actually heard that, um, the new coal blocks are, are more, are more cost efficient than, than, regular coal like eight pieces of coal does 64 items 
I believe that one coal block does more than 64 items. But I don't see the point of that because you can only put 64 items in a furnace. And I wouldn't want to keep going back and like waiting as soon as it finishes putting in another item. Or actually, maybe you could do something good with that with hoppers and stuff. Yeah, I didn't think of that. Probably some huge redstone guru is going to come up with something with those stuff if not some if not uh if something's not already out yeah if, yeah so this is the giant turkey farm just kept on planting it so now we're all the way around here and i'm just gonna shave all this off so i'll be right back cross our fingers we have enough of the sugar cane if i can get up here okay so we have our 45 pieces of leather, and yeah, we have enough sugar cane. <laughs> okay. I think that's all that we're actually going to need right now. I mean, what else do we actually use sugar cane for? Sugar. And I think that's it. Alright, so we're going to need 45 bucks. We'll make 45 exactly. And, and do we have enough wood? I went and got a lot of wood. I was waiting. Because you have to do something while you're waiting for um, all those cows to grow up. Okay, so just 15 bookshelves. Alright, and we're good. We don't have a silk touch, we can't pick up these bookshelves yet, but that's alright, because it really only leaves the wood, you actually get the um, bookshelf back. So now we have to find a good place to put this, and why don't we bring our diamond pickaxe with us, and we will also enchant like a diamond sword. And we should probably make that here when we have our sticks. I mean, oh, I'm at a crafting table. Alright, let's see. Where would an enchantment room fit? Our first enchantment room. This big building is kind of annoying. I mean, there's nothing in it. It looks ugly. It was supposed to be for the villagers, but now we have none. Um... Should we put it... I mean, this is our first one. So... Alright, we'll just put it in this guy's backyard. No, I'm just kidding. Um... You know, I'm gonna use one of these terraces up here. These decks. Um... I can't exactly... I can move these out of the way and put them there. Yeah, I'll just do that. And then I can put the, that right there. Okay. I don't like messing up the village, but, I mean, Creeper Blast, I already have done that. I could always put this back when I actually make my... Uh, my final enchantment room in my, uh... In my base. It's getting laid out. Alright, so our bookshelves. Fits around this perfectly. Wait. Oh, you don't need... Oh, you could have one point where you like, kind of enter through. Hmm, I wish I put that on that side. Whatever. And then... This can go right there, so then when I go up, it's all nice. And where is our torches? Let's make sure everything is lit up. And I don't want that opening. Alright, All right, I'm going to make a crafting table there. I could put a chest for all my stuff. Yeah, I'm going to make a chest. I'll put a crafting table down here. 
and then I'll make a chest for all our like random books that we want to keep up there. There. All right, everything looks nice. And let's enchant. So should we do the sword or the pickaxe first? I'm going to do the pickaxe because I want to get a fortune so I can get all those ores in that cave right now. Because I want to wait until I have a good fortune. Fortune 3 would be nice. Or fortune or silk touch is what I want. And we got... Oh. Come on. Unbreaking 3. Wow. It isn't... Why did I bring my sword? I didn't have enough levels to do that. We couldn't even get efficiency four on breaking three. Like, that, that's like the most common pickaxe you get, like efficiency four on breaking three. That's like the do work pickaxe. This is like the slow doing work pickaxe. Um, so I guess I'll just put this in the chest here. I'm not keep my diamond tools in here. I always like to keep my diamond stuff and my super enchanted bows with my diamonds. Okay, we will start eating that and let's go to sleep. Alright, so now that we have done that, yeah, yeah, as you can see, I've been farming, that's why those chests were more filled up. And now, I think we have the cow farm. We should probably gather some chickens and sheep and pigs. So I might as well just get that done in this episode. How's that doing? Um, so... Let's do that. And I'm going to make a new sword. I know I have the diamond, but I don't like using it until... It's enchanted and everything. Alright. Oh, I wish I... Right now, I'm, I'm playing in 1.52. I'm recording this video before 1.6 comes out. This video might be out after 1.6 comes out. Which means there would be leads, which I would probably use to get them on, because I think that's faster. But I guess I'm going to have to use seeds for the chickens. Um, what else do I need? Seeds. I need a carrot for the pigs. And I need a piece of wheat for the, for the, what's it called? The, um, sheep. I actually haven't seen any, I haven't seen, I think I've seen a couple of sheep. Maybe one or two chickens. But I haven't seen any pigs. Which, I mean, that's fine, because pigs is really the, they don't really do anything for you in Minecraft. All you get is nothing. Alright, um... I guess first we should have some somewhere to put these guys. The cows get their own, the most useful animals, so they get their own big pen. We'll have, to help. We'll have a a chicken pit, a sheep pit. <laughs> I, I'm not gonna really breed these guys. Yet. I'm just gonna keep them here so we can have them, and a pig pig uh, pit pig pit. It's not a pig pen. It's a pig pit. Oh, I want to get those so badly. I don't know why, it's just sand. I don't even care. <laughs> I always do this. I need all the resources I can get. And now I'll have to fill those up. See, that took time. That's wasting time right there. For what, like, six pieces of sand? Well, not six, that's twelve, because there's four in each hole I left in there. Um, so let's go on a journey. So there should be some more animals in this extreme hill, not extreme hills, um, plains biome. Past the plains is a extreme hills, which I know there are some animals also. Look at all these cows. In my, here's sheep. Usually in Minecraft, I'm always like the last one to find cows. But in this world, oh, chicken too. Okay, so we'll. Where's that spider? Probably in there. I see a zombie. Okay, so. Let's get our wheat. Come on. Wait, where'd your friend go? There you are. Alright, let's go. 
See, look, look at the extreme hills over there. If I turn the right way, you could see them rendering. Let's go, sheep. Come to the village. Guys, almost there. We've attracted some unwanted cows. Come on, cows. Get out of here. I want the sheep right now. Get out of here. Come on, sheep. I don't want to kill you. You guys are pretty annoying right now. Oh, attracting more cows. Come on, shoo. Shoo. There you go. So you just hit him. Well, run away. Alright, now we only have our sheep. Here we are. We're going over here. Come on, guys. We're almost there. Oh, I went too far. Come on. Come on, Mr. Sheep. I should probably put grass in that hole so they can eat. But I'm not, I'm not shearing them right now anyways. Come on. Because... I know purple goes really well with sandstone, so I think that's going to be like the complement color inside the pyramid and stuff. But I don't think I'm going to use purple wool, though. I think I'm going to use the hardened clay that's going to come out. If it's not already out, like I said before, if this video is in 1.6 already. Let's just go in the middle one. There you go. Sheep going there. Hopefully they don't despawn like, um, like the villagers did. Um, let's find some chickens and pigs found our uh, chickens but where are we I don't want to push you let's just get you on the land here okay let's take out our seeds and the other chicken was right here I just want to bring two so we can keep the environment actually chickens are easy to put back into the environment though because you just have to get a bunch of eggs and just toss them around remember in my old let's play if my old subscribers will know, I had a lot of chicken eggs. Remember one time, uh, in one episode, uh, Ethan, or probes plays, he calculated how many chicken eggs I had in my house. It was something like, I believe it was like well over 5,000 eggs. Come on. The sheep are so much better listeners than you guys. I don't want to hit you guys to get your attention. Because I know... Chickens have very little health. Come on. There you go. Okay, let's make your way back. I'm bringing in the chicks. Come on. We'll wait for them. They are our guests. Even though chances are they will eventually die. The hands of my sword. What I wanna, I wanna make like a, a diamond sword suited to kill the mobs. Like I, I, I think of this. Um, like I want a diamond sword with like I don't know how much like maybe sharpness one, sharpness two, whatever it takes. Like one hit to kill a cow, and that will be my. I'll call. I'll like rename it the cow tipper. That'd be pretty cool. And we'll have like fire aspects. So I'll get the cook meat. Definitely not knockback, so I can collect this stuff. Pigs. I didn't see any pigs. I I didn't go past the extreme hills though, so I didn't even go into the extreme hills. But I don't want to look for pigs right now. We don't need pigs. Now we have feathers for. It's a weird hole. Now we have feathers for arrows if we need. We only have eight on us. And we have um. Now we have wool for wool if we want it. Let's put back. You know, why don't we just let's breed them two carrots two seeds and two wheats we only have one wheat but I didn't have any wheat in the chest oh let's let's breed them before it turns to night time come on I don't want to like get snuck up on a creeper and he'll blow me up while I'm like breeding them and like both chickens will die alright Nope, not you guys. Look at that herd of cows. This is for the new sheep. There you go. Oh, why did I bring the carrots? I didn't get any pigs. There you go. Quickly, give me the XP. XP? I see the chicken in your butt. No XP, okay. K 
Can we tightrope the fence? We did it. Let's go to sleep. And we'll put away our stuff. Midnight snack. I think our food is ready. Our meat. I'm going to start eating this. It's more um, filling. The potatoes. Let's put this stuff back in the chest. And we are good. Ten minutes left on this episode. So. I'll show you guys the zombie noise I keep hearing when I'm over here. I think you guys heard it for like a second when I came, but I was talking. Let's walk away, let's walk back, and you guys can hear it again. Oh, well, it was here. It was definitely here. One bad thing about the sand. There, well, that was it. I'm sure you guys heard that. Maybe it's just a cave. One thing about the sand is it will fall on your head. I have to clear this out anyways. Sounds like it's coming from... I don't know. So. Um, I'm gonna mine down a little bit. He was right there. That was easy. Hello, zombie. You can't fight me. He was there for a while because I've been hearing him. He wasn't despawning, or maybe there is a spawner. Anything? This is cool. It's like a this is like a very high cave. This is just under this mound. What level are we at? So yeah, seventy-one. That's like higher than regular sixties. Let's check out over here. Come on, I want to. I want to find a. A dungeon, that'd be cool. That'd be really cool. It's a cool cave. Oh, we ran out of torches. Come on, there's gotta be a there's gotta be a dungeon. Hmm. I guess it'll be easier to take down this mound of sand, but I won't get as much sand as I wanted from it though. Huh. Don't have any more uh torches okay well let's block this off but I'll remember that's there because if there is a dungeon there that'd be cool we can connect a uh, exp spawner or something to our um, to our house to our um, pyramid what's over here it is an interesting desert. It's like an extreme hills desert. See, I wonder if we just dig down from there, we get in the cave. There's a weird pit in the middle of the, the mound of sand. See how small this desert is? Too bad there was no, um... Oops. Too bad there was no... Um... Desert, uh, temple. At least we found a village. Oh, should we found a village in the plains? And we could have, like... Village wars sand people versus the plains people all right so that was fun i think that's gonna wrap up this episode it's a little short today but we didn't have that much to do so thanks for watching i hope you enjoyed the video and please give it a rating so see you next time